Good evening. Good evening and uh, welcome to First Friday Prayer and Pastoral Teaching. Uh, you have reached uh, the, uh, the site of Prayer Assembly uh, here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I am glad to be with you on tonight. I am Pastor Ellis Ogles and uh, on behalf of my wife and the whole Prayer Assembly family, we welcome you uh, to our First Friday prayer, pastoral teaching. Uh, this is something that God has laid on our hearts uh, several years ago that we wanted to start off each month uh, going into the first weekend of the month with prayer and an opportunity uh, to just share from my heart some things that God has laid on my heart and mind uh, to, to sow into the people of God. And so uh, we know that uh, COVID came about, what, uh, 2020? In March of 2020, and uh, we still have had First Friday prayer uh, every Friday, uh, just maybe for a couple of times we did not. And then we also have had our all-night prayers on the, the last First Friday of each quarter. And so uh, whether we're gathered in person or we're gathered uh, virtually as we are now on YouTube or Facebook, uh, the app, or pacogic.com, uh, we are doing what the Bible encourages us to do, and that is man should always pray and not faint, uh, that we should assemble together, amen, and that uh, where two or three are in, uh, gathered together in his name, there he is in the midst. And uh, if Jesus is here, it's a great thing, amen. And uh, I'm excited. I'm always excited about First Friday prayer. And uh, um, I'm excited about the topic that God has given me tonight, amen, and that is rekindling the fire of your faith, amen. Uh, just say that right there in your own home. Re I'm going to rekindle the fire of my faith, amen. And uh, I, I, I just believe God has a word for us tonight. Uh, we're going to worship God in, 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 in prayer tonight. We're going to petition him tonight. We're going to uh, just bless him tonight, uh, just as scripture has instructed us to do. And we're going to intercede uh, tonight as well. And so I need some prayer warriors. We got a lot of prayer warrior teams. Hey, man, I need all the prayer warriors to be engaged. I need all of the laborers to be engaged as we go into worship and, and spiritual warfare and connecting the co connecting to the hem of his garment. I need you to help me spread the word. Uh, you know, go ahead and, and like and share if you're on Facebook. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, you can also like it over there uh, as well. And speaking of YouTube, if you have not subscribed to the Prayer Assembly, the PA Kojic uh, YouTube uh, channel, you should because you will get notified uh, every time that we're going live. If there's some of our normal service or something special we're doing, you don't want to miss any of the content that God is blessing us uh, to share with you. So uh, what we're going to do tonight to give you the roadmap, amen, is that uh, we're going to open up in some, a word of prayer and then we're going to spend some time in the word and then we'll close out our time this evening in prayer. And, uh, you know, it's always interesting to me, even uh, when we were gathering in person. Um, and this has always seemed to have be, a, be a challenge for us is that, you know, for concerts and um, all, you know, things like that, you know, we normally have standing room musical, standing room only. But it's something about prayer uh, and Bible study that it just doesn't seem to be as appealing to people, <laughs> which is always mind boggling to me because prayer is the way to move from the, the natural into the supernatural. But yet so many people of God don't avail themselves to prayer. And so we've got uh, to just continue to uh, encourage people. Uh, don't uh, forsake prayer. Amen. Don't don't. Don't minimize uh, prayer in your life, amen. And when you're praying together with others, amen, we're just bombarding heaven. And uh, and, and, and so we, we're coming together. So whether it's your in-person prayer, on the prayer lines, Friday night prayer, prayer with your family, prayer by yourself, 
Amen. Uh, don't, don't mitigate or minimize the impact that prayer has had, is having, and will have. Amen. I, I've seen God move after our first Friday prayers. Amen. Even just this week, we've been praying for some things regarding, uh, uh, my wife and her, her sister. Amen. And, and God moved in two different ways just this week. And so, uh, I, I, I know God is, is, is a prayer answering God. He's a prayer listening God. Amen. And, uh, we trust him with the outcome. Amen. We just want to invite him into our, our situations and our circumstances. And speaking of that, amen. If you have some, some prayer requests that you want to put into the chat, you can do that. Uh, we're going to pray at the conclusion of the word that we'll share. Amen. And uh, we'll go back and just see uh, what prayer requests are there. And we'll incorporate those into uh, how God leads us to pray tonight. All right. So that's what we can expect. Amen. Who knows what else God has in store? We're just going to be led by the spirit. Amen. And I just believe that God will have his way. Amen. We're going to increase our faith on tonight. Amen. And uh, just go go higher in the Lord. So, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to gather in your name. We thank you for these this means of connecting. God, we know that uh, it's in you that we move, live and have our being. We can do nothing without you. And we would certainly fail. And we, we are so limited and incapable of doing anything without you. So unction us on tonight. Uh, let this session be uh, pleasing, first of all, to you, God. We want to magnify you. We want to edify you. And we want your word to be shared so that people uh, can get to know you and what pleases you and how they can rekindle their faith, their walk, their commitment to you. So God, order our steps in the word. Help me to rightly divide it, God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that your spirit have his way on tonight. God bless every mother and father and child. God bless every family unit. God bless the singles, the married people, the senior citizens, the little babies, God. Oh God, the young adults, the youth, and everybody else in between, God, touch them in a mighty, mighty way, God, in the name of Jesus, and help us not to get weary in well-doing. And we pray these things in Jesus' name and for his sake, amen, amen, amen. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, repeat after me, or you can even type this in the, in the chat, rekindle the fire of your faith. Rekindle the fire of your faith. Amen. I want to call your attention to Romans 12 verses 9 through 13. Just a couple of few scriptures this evening that we're going to take a look at. And uh, I'm going to read this in a couple of versions tonight. Amen. And then uh, we'll dig deeper. All right. Romans 12 verses 9 through 13. I want to talk tonight uh, about rekindling the fire of your faith. Amen. The Bible declares at verse 9 of Romans 12, love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. And then I'm going to read this in the NIRV. All right. So let me read this. And this is the version that we're going to uh, really hone in on tonight. All right. Love must be honest and true. Hate what is evil. 
hold on to what is good. Love one another deeply. Honor others more than yourselves. Watch verse 11. Stay excited about your faith as you serve the Lord. When you hope, be joyful. When you suffer, be patient. When you pray, be faithful. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Welcome others into your homes. Rekindle the fire of your faith. When we rekindle something, it is to flame it. It is to if it has become dim, if it has become cold, amen, it is to make hot again. And um, as I was thinking about this this week, um, I said, you know, it is August 5th of 2022. And I was thinking back to August 5th, 2021, and August 5th of 2020, and I said, you know, this COVID-19 uh, has had some impact, right? We would be fooling ourselves if we would say, oh, I, I haven't been impacted by COVID-19. We know that that's not true. Uh, we, it has certainly had physical, right, and, and illness uh, effects on us, even death uh, for some and we certainly always want to lift those up in prayer who have lost loved ones as a result of COVID. But there's some other things that I believe that COVID either, either subtle in a subtle way or even in a snatching away way uh, has done to us. And uh, I think we have lost some of our connectedness to one another. I think uh, the spirit of discouragement has settled into some, uh, and, and, and if we're honest with ourselves, if we roll the clock back, amen, we just not, we, maybe we're just not as on fire as we used to be. Um, this, this season, these, these multiple years have been, um, they have been draining mentally, uh, physically, uh, emotionally, right? Spiritually, uh, our faith has really been tested. And uh, when your faith is tested, amen, it's either going to uh, be dimmed and cooled off uh, or it's going to be uh, rekindled. And, and, and I believe that we must rekindle or light a fire when it comes to our faith walk. Uh, collectively, as a body at prayer assembly, collectively as the body of Christ, and individually, um, there is, uh, this is a time of rekindling and lighting uh, that match and, 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 and starting a new fire uh, within ourselves and within us collectively. Uh, we can't stay in disarray. We can't stay in March and April and May of 2020. Uh, we can't stay isolated and stuck. We must open ourselves to one another and to God. What did, what did Pastor Ogle say? We, we, we must open ourselves to one another and to God. And so as I've been praying and we had a leadership meeting uh, last Saturday and we were doing some planning for the, the rest of the year, uh, as we end this year and move into next year, 2023, yes, we're going to continue to impact the community. You know, the big day of hope is coming up in November. We'll need hundreds of volunteers for that. We'll impact hundreds and hundreds of families. And we want to be a blessing to the community. Uh, you know, we want to do outreach and we want to volunteer. And we want to do missions work. All the things that this church does, right? But we can't forget the community that's within the church. We used to call it in reach, right? We had outreach and we had in reach. And uh, we have to be as concerned about those that are in the house 
as we are about those outside of the house. And that's where I want to focus on tonight with these few scriptures, because I believe that it gives us a roadmap of how to rekindle the fire of our faith. Praise the Lord. Amen. Those that are joining us a little late, we are discussing rekindling the fire of our faith. And we are at Romans, the 12th chapter, verses 9 through 13. The, the, the motivation behind tonight's pastoral teaching is the sense of dullness, this sense of disconnectedness, uh, this kind of phase or just uh, um, I don't even know the word I want to I want to use. Amen. It's just we're just kind of in 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 la la land collectively, and I believe that God did not bring us out of COVID for us not to be on fire for him. Amen. Anybody glad that God didn't let you die during COVID? Amen. You ought to give him praise and glory. And since he let you live, amen, I, I just believe, amen, that we should be on fire for the Lord. Amen. And so I just want to dissect these, these few passages of scripture. We won't be before you long, long tonight. Amen. But I believe there's some goodness in the word for us tonight. All right, let's dig in here. All right. The first thing that the scripture said in verse nine is that love must be honest and true. We have to love a man as God loved us. We have to care enough about our fellow uh, uh, man and woman Amen. In order to really be on fire for Christ, we can't say we love God whom we've never seen. Amen. And we don't care anything about the people in and around us. And so if we're going to be on fire for for God, it's going to start with love. Amen. Not any old kind of love, but love that is honest, is for real, it's true. You can trust it. Amen. And you know that somebody's not smiling in your face and, 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 and talking about you behind your back. It is a pure and honest love. The, the first Corinthians love, right? The 13th chapter kind of love is what we have to be about. And so when we love one another, we'll see about one another. When we love one another, we'll support one another. When we love one another, amen, we'll have care and concern uh, uh, for one another. Amen. COVID isolated us to the fact where I'm just by myself, amen, me and my shows, and I'm, I'm in my room, and I'm all safe. I'm safe and sound. Well, we've got to now uh, step out on faith and we can't even display love sometimes if we're not around anybody. <laughs> Amen. So love has to be honest and it has to be true. Amen. Number two, we have to, if we're going to rekindle the, 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 uh, our faith, amen, we've got to hate what is evil. I'm right in the scripture. You can follow right along with me. Amen. We've got to Hate what is evil and hold on to what is good. Isn't it interesting the language that is being used here? Amen. There is, it is so difficult seemingly to find anything that is good. The scripture understands that because it said, look, you better hold on. <laughs> you, you, you better hold on to what is good. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't let it slip slip through your hands, amen, to become so difficult that you can't even re recognize the goodness of the Lord, amen. You can't even uh, recognize the goodness in your fellow man. You, you can't recognize the, the faithfulness of God, amen, the blessings of God, amen, the purity of God, amen, because the Bible says, hate what is evil, amen. We can't be uh, walking around with evil, amen, playing around with evil. No, we are to hate what is evil, amen. When wrongdoing is out there, we're not on the sidelines, amen. We are, we are taking our faith 
and we are meeting the needs that we see because we care, we love so much that we hate what is evil, amen, and we still see the goodness. As terrible of a time that this is that we're living in, I, do I have a witness that you can still see the goodness of the Lord? Hallelujah. You can still sense his presence. Amen. You can still begin to count your blessings uh, and name them one by one. You can still see and understand and appreciate the miracle of life, miracles upon miracles that are happening every day. Amen. Oh man, like the song says, a million little miracles. Amen. Count your miracles. Name them one, two, three, four, whatever number you have experienced this week. It was a miracle that you woke up this morning. It was a miracle that you did not lose your mind. Amen. And so we have to hold on to what is good. Amen. Recognize what is good. Listen, listen to this. It goes on and it says, love one another deeply, deeply honoring others more than yourselves. Amen. I, sometimes when we think about faith, we think about faith as the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But when this scripture, when I'm talking about rekindling your faith, I'm talking about your faith walk. Amen. I'm talking about your relationship with God and others. Amen. Living, uh, living for him. Amen. And so love one another deeply. Honor others more than yourselves. Not don't don't be the, the one, amen, that says, uh, well, it ain't nothing here for me. They ain't doing nothing for me. The church ain't got nothing for me. Me, 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 right? We, we let's not be that person. Let's honor somebody else more than ourselves. Amen. Our first lady talked about this when we're talking about marriage, amen. Just because it's not your thing, amen. If you love me enough, you will go ahead and go and do some things that maybe it's not your number one thing to do, right? That is honoring the other person more than yourselves. Are you hearing me tonight? Amen. And so we are, we rekindle our faith when we get back to these types of things. We can be so consumed with this, that, and the other thing that we are not executing on the basics of our faith. And if we can't execute on the basics of our faith, how are we going to change the world for Christ? Amen. If we can't even love folk, amen, we can't even hate evil and we can't hold on to what's good. We can't put other people above us, amen, because it's all about us. Then what? how are we going to impact this world for Christ? Amen. So this is about let's 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 take an introspective look and say, am I asleep? Am I about as cold as ice? Amen. Or am I on fire? Somebody have to say, Lord, start a fire in me. Amen. The prophet said it was like fire that shot up in my bones. Amen. We need to be a, a, some, some lively stones. Amen. Some lively stones for Christ. Amen. Is there any excitement in your walk, in your faith? Amen. Or is it just, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I guess I'll pray. I guess I'll go to church today. I guess I'll jump on the prayer line today. I got to do it. It's my, it's my night tonight. <laughs> you know, come on here. Now, uh, look at this next verse. Stay excited about your faith as you serve the Lord. We need to serve the Lord with, with gladness. Amen. That's what the fire is about. Stay excited. Amen. And then, look, why did it say stay excited? Amen. Because there is a potential for you to not be excited any longer. Amen. You might have started off running and, amen, you on your, your, your pressing towards the mark. Amen. And now you about as, as dull, amen, as a butter knife. Amen. But it says stay excited about your faith. Don't you know excitement is contagious? Amen. It's hard for people to just uh, be humdrum, amen, when they are around someone that is excited about their faith. Amen. And so, and not only just excited about your faith, but as you serve the Lord. In other words, rekindle, amen, your faith. 
Stay ablaze. Get excited about the Lord. Get excited, amen, about prayer assembly. Amen. Get excited about what God is doing in and through your life. Amen. And the lives of others. Amen. Learn to rejoice with them that rejoice. Amen. Get excited about Sunday school. Tell your kids on Saturday night, hey, get you some rest. Lay out your clothes. We're going to Sunday school tomorrow. Amen. You're going to do some arts and some crafts. Amen. You're going to learn about the scripture. It's going to be a great time in the Lord. Amen. Get excited about online Bible study. Amen. And we don't have to get in our cars. We don't have to drive down the 4520 West McDowell Road. But that doesn't mean you have to be lazy about it. Be looking forward to it. Amen. We sent out the Bible study lesson. Amen. And the things we're going to talk about the morning of. Go look through the scriptures. Amen. Uh, uh, see what? Get prepared for the questions. Get ready to engage. Amen. We can do anything uh, in, in, a, in a, just a, a, a regular way. Or we can do something in an ablaze way. Amen. It's almost just like, you know, you don't have to drive to the church to be the first one. Hey, I'm going to be the first one to log in tonight. Amen. I'm going to be the first one to share. Amen. I'm going to be the first one to come in on tonight. I want to get in there. Amen. I want to share what, what this word is meaning to me. And then I want to hear what pastors are saying. I want to hear what my, my fellow uh, congregants are saying. And we can all grow together. Amen. I, I was reading this. I said, wow, amen. We really do need to rekindle the fire of our faith. Amen. Brothers, amen. Get excited about the virtual promise keepers. The women's ministry, when they, they announce when they're having a gathering, amen. Don't act like you didn't know it was on the calendar. Say, wow, I want to go to that. Let me ask Lady O if there's something I can help her with. Amen. Let me get engaged. Let me get involved. Amen. If you're hearing me tonight, why don't somebody just type in the chat, amen, amen. And then say, I can do better. I, I can do better. Amen. Amen. The youth ministry is planning some things. Amen. You'll be hearing about them in September. Amen. Get your get the children excited about it. Amen. Uh, the youth leaders can only do so much. They can plan and they can they can market it. Amen. And they can put it on. But they need the parents and the children to get engaged. The children are only going to be as engaged as the parents are. Ain't nobody saying nothing to me. Amen. Is this thing on? Is it, is it, is it on? Amen. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sister, sister, sister uh, Bradley with me tonight. All right. Somebody with me tonight. Amen. All right. So this volunteer, amen, sister Dewan and sister brother Marcus, they're going to be looking for people to do all kinds of stuff for the day of hope. I'm talking about stay excited about your faith. As you serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Don't wait for PA worship to say, let's everybody stand. Amen. Come in from Sunday school already standing up. Amen. Already clapping your hands. Already giving God a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Already just worshiping him. Amen. And by the time PA worship get up, they got to catch up with you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, I'm just giving y'all some examples, maybe a little bit of advice on how you take this scripture and do what it says to do in our local environment. Amen. Ask the Lord if I'm supposed to become a deacon. Amen. Young man out there. Amen. Oh, Lord, help us on today. Amen. Stay excited about your faith as you serve the Lord. As you serve the Lord. Amen. Stay excited. Amen. Stay ablaze. Rekindle that, that fire. Light a match. Amen. To your spiritual walk. Amen. Get some, some, some gumption. Amen. <laughs> Get some life in you. Amen. Shake yourself. Amen. Say it's time for me to get back in the game. Amen. It's time for me to get back. Yeah, the, 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 the harvest is ripe. Amen. But the laborers are few. Amen. God, we, we want to answer God's prayer. Amen. That was, that was, that was Jesus prayer. He said he prayed to God. Amen. Send the laborers. Amen. So we, we want to be the answer to God, to Jesus prayer. Praise the Lord on tonight. Amen. And then, then the scripture goes on 
And it says, when you hope, be joyful. When you hope, be joyful. Amen. If you say, my hope is in the Lord, amen, then your hope should be in the Lord. <laughs> amen. Your hope can't be in your bank account. It can't be in this and that because that'll make you sad. Amen. That won't bring you some joy sometime. Amen. But Jesus is a constant. He's faithful. He can be trusted. Amen. You can depend on him. So my hope is in Jesus and I'm hoping with some joy. Amen. I, I, I know sometimes we want to have the red eyes and the white lips. Amen. But I, I need to encourage you tonight. Amen. That you don't have sad hope. Amen. Don't have mad hope. Well, I guess God gonna do it some way. No, don't, don't, don't get no disgusted hope. Have some joyful hope. Hey, I know my God's gonna do it. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna hold tight. Amen. Because I know He's got something better for me. I'm gonna hold tight because I know He's got something in store for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to God's unchanging hand. Amen. And and while I'm waiting, I'm gonna bless His holy name. Amen. When you hope. Be joyful. Amen. When you suffer, be patient. Hallelujah. Amen. When you suffer, be patient. Amen. When you suffer, amen. Don't they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, be patient with God. Amen. He's not a man that he should lie. Amen. His promises are yes and amen. He's not slack. Concerning his promises, some consider slackness. Amen. And so this is where we have to encourage ourselves in the Lord. And then it said, when you pray, be faithful. This is how we're going to rekindle our faith. All of this collective together. Amen. When you pray, be faithful. Don't get tired of praying. I know you haven't seen it yet. You don't understand how God is moving. Amen. But don't Stop praying. Amen. Pray in the morning. Pray in the afternoon. Pray in the evening. Amen. Pray when you don't see anything. Pray. Amen. When all your answers are coming like a flood, no matter how it's going to invite Jesus into your situation. Hallelujah. Be faithful. Do I have any faithful prayer warriors out there? Amen. Pray when you're the only one on the prayer line. Amen. If none of y'all logged in on tonight, I was going to teach this to the camera and then I was going to pray anyhow. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Be faithful. Hallelujah. Be faithful not to get something from God. Be faithful because he called you to be faithful. Hallelujah. I hear preachers talking about, ooh, your time is about you. You're about to, you're about to the, the blessing going to run you down because you've been faithful. Listen, that don't don't condition God's blessing based off you, because if that was the case, we don't deserve nothing. Lord help me. That's another that's another pastoral teaching right there. Lord help us on today. Amen. Listen. Then it says, share with the Lord's people who are in need. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Amen. Welcome others into your homes. Amen. This in 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 the NIV it talks about. Be given to hospitality. Again, this is something, again, that I believe COVID has, uh, has, has stolen from us a little bit here because we had to, right? We had to stay away from each other. Amen. We, we had to social distance and we had to do all of that kind of stuff. But listen, amen, uh, this isn't 2020. This isn't 2021. We've got some safety measures in place. We've got some vaccines in place. We got we can wear a mask if, it, if you want to wear a mask when you go over each other's house. But, but it says, welcome people into your home. Amen. You know, I think I'm going to reinstitute First Friday Fellowship, amen. You know, somebody you've never went out to dinner with, lunch with, amen, haven't had over your home, Amen. Invite him over. Amen. I love the spirit of Brother Tim. Amen. He was talking to me. He's like, I, I, I want a fellowship. I want to have some of the brothers over. I said, well, you need to talk to, to, to Elder Jones. Amen. And, and, and Deacon Bethea. Amen. And, 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 and tomorrow the brothers are going to fellowship. Whatever number of us are going to be over there. Amen. We're going to do that. That, you don't get to know each other while you're worshiping because your main, your main focus during worship is God. You're going to have to take some time outside of the time that we're there on Sunday mornings 
in order to really uh, develop relationships, amen, and develop connectivity one with another, amen. That's how we know what to pray for for each other, amen, and, and how to intercede, and maybe we have uh, interest in, in common, amen. Maybe we like to play pickleball, or maybe we like to play tennis, or maybe we like to go out for coffee, amen. Maybe we live next door to each other or around the corner, but if we don't never open up ourselves, I'm just in the scripture, Amen. I think I'm going a, I'm to a bring some of this to a Sunday morning too. Amen. Might not be this Sunday. Amen. But I, I, I want you all to hear my heart on tonight. Amen. Rekindling your faith. Amen. It's all about what we've been talking about here. It is, it is reigniting every element of our relationship with God and with one another, one another, one another, one another. All right, all right, all right. So, so that's what I wanted to encourage your heart with on tonight. Amen. Amen. I know that we can do we can do better. And not only can we do better, we will do better. And we're going to reap the benefits of being obedient to scripture, of loving and being honest and hating evil and holding on to what's good loving one another deeply, amen, honoring others above ourselves, staying excited, rekindling our, our, our faith as we serve the Lord, amen, and as we serve our local ministry called prayer assembly, amen, that's, that's how we're going to do it, amen, and we will see that God will smile on obedience, he will smile on obedience on tonight, all right, all right, all right. Are you, can, can the church say amen? Can the church say amen? All right, now, uh, what we're going to do at this time, let me go back and see if there's some specific prayer requests. We're going to pray. We're going to start off with some worshiping prayer. Amen. We talked about worship on, on Wednesday night, and uh, I believe that we learned something about how we can incorporate worship into every element of our life. And that is inclusive of prayer. Amen. But I did see a few um, prayer requests here. Amen. Sister Lovett. Amen. For Pray for Willie and Savannah uh, Robinson uh, on tonight. You all can make notes of these two. They're, they're in the chat if you need to go back. Amen. As they age grace, gracefully. Amen. And uh, we also have a prayer request for Carla Sants uh, on tonight and Gail uh, tonight as well as they each go through uh, cancer related surgeries. Uh, so we want to remember them when we get to our petitions uh, this evening. Amen. Uh, Sandra Coles as well this evening amen we're just getting our our prayer roster ready amen praise the lord praise the lord and you can begin to just thank him even right where you are amen we want to praise him in advance in advance i think i got any other prayer requests amen i don't want to miss anybody you can put them in the chat you can put them in the chat uh tonight Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Lord, we come before you humbly tonight. Thank you for this time in the word. Thank you for uh, the opportunity to share with one another. God, uh, God, through this virtual means. God, we thank you for being a good father. We thank you for being a present help. We thank you, oh God, uh, for being our Lord, being our, our, our Redeemer, God. We thank you for the sacrifice of the cross. God, we worship you on tonight because you are worthy. You are worthy of worship. You are worthy of praise and adoration, God. You are worthy, God, to be celebrated. Hallelujah. We, we give you praise and we worship your holy name. We ascribe to you the glory and honor that is due to you. You are God. You are our God. You alone are our creator, our Lord, and our Savior. And you alone 
are worthy to be praised. You are worthy and you deserve our worship. And we give it to you now, God. Oh, God, we are transitioning from the natural to the supernatural and coming into your wonderful presence on tonight. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness. We stand in awe of who you are and we bow down before you in reverent praise, not demanding you or commanding you, God, but we are showing reverence to you tonight, God, for you alone are worthy to receive all honor, to receive all glory, all praise, all blessings. They belong to you. All worship belongs to you. Oh God, you are worthy. You are wonderful. You are kind. You are a blessing to us. You are the blessing, God, and we love you on today. God, your power and your majesty is seen throughout all the world. The works of your hands are displayed in the heavenly realms and on the earth, hallelujah, and under the earth, God, and in the waters, God. You sit enthroned, encircled, encircled by the heavenly host, amen. You are our eternal king. You are everything to us, God. You're the way, God. You're the truth and the life. Oh, God, we love you on today. Oh, God, your footstool is the foundation of the earth, hallelujah, which you have made. And God, we love you on today. We are your people. We are the sheep of your pasture, and we love you on today. We worship you on today, God. You picked us up out of the, the, the miry clay, and you clothe us in a robe of righteousness. You took filthiness, and you just cleaned us up, and you turned us around, God. You cleansed us from all unrighteousness, and for that, we say thank you. Hallelujah. One day, you're going to wipe every tear Hallelujah from our eye. Hallelujah. There'll be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more dying, God, no more crying there. Hallelujah, God. Lord, you comfort those that are suffering. You give help to the weak and the oppressed. Oh, God, you give food to the hungry. You bless those that don't deserve to be blessed. Hallelujah, God. You are gracious. You are kind. And we love you on tonight. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Give him praise and glory right in your house. We blame, We bless you for our creation. We bless you because you preserved us, God. We bless you because you are a blessing to our life. And above all, God, we worship and thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, that was without sin, but took on the sins of the world <clears throat> to be our substitute, to be our replacement, to bear our sins, God, where we worship you for the gift of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, who died uh, on the, a criminal's death and was in the grave for three days, but on the third day rose with all power in his hand. God, we thank you. We can never thank you enough for your grace and your love and your mercy and your kindness towards us. We worship you forever and forever and forever and forever and forever and forever. Amen. Amen. Oh God, we come before you now that we worship you, God, and we've given you the adoration that's do your name. Oh God, you said that man should always pray and not faint, that we to come before the throne of grace with boldness in our time of need. And God, we have some needs on tonight. God, you've heard the prayer request that we called out by Sister Lovett, amen, of Willie and Savannah Robinson, God. Lord, as they go through this season of life, God, bless them, God. Touch their bodies, God. Touch their minds, God. Touch their marriage, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, 
Have your way, God, in that wonderful couple, God. Meet every need according to your riches and glory. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, we pray for Carla and Gail, God, they're facing something they can't face on their own. God, follow them even as you lead them, God. Go touch the surgeons, God. Order their steps. Order their hands, God. Give her a good report, God. In the name of Jesus, Gail and Carla, oh God, we pray for Sandra Coles, God, you know her situation, you know her circumstance, you know what she's confronting, God. Oh God, open up her, uh, her eyes of faith, God. Help her to focus on you and not what she's going through, God. Increase her faith. Light a fire that, God, if you did it before, you can do it again in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, have your way. Have your way. Keep praying, saints, right in your home. Keep praying. Hallelujah. Oh, God, Lord, we pray and we thank you for our prayer warrior ministry, God. Every prayer warrior, God, we pray for, for Elder Hall. We pray for every prayer warrior leader and every member of every team. Let them not get weary. Oh, God, as they're in their well-doing, God, but strengthen their commitment, oh, God, to intercession, God, to celebration, God, to petition, God, to worship, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray over every ministry, every ministry leader, oh, God, light them up, God, rekindle the flame, God, motivate them to run on and see what the end's going to be, God. Refresh them, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Unify us, God. Help us to be reminded of the vision that God has given this church. Hallelujah. Every time we walk through the doors of the sanctuary, oh God, we see it hanging up there of the kind of church you called us to be, God. Help us, God, not for it just to be on the wall, but it to be permeated throughout all of our church, God. In the name of Jesus, let us worship you like never before. Let us sing songs of Zion, God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way in our young people, God. All the babies, God, the, the kindergartners, God, the, the grade schoolers, God, the middle schoolers, the high schoolers. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, help them to, to, to serve you yet while in their youth, God. Oh, God, we bind the hand of the enemy with all of this, this fentanyl and all of this drugs that's coming in, God. Oh, God, we bind that spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, help them to be able to resist the devil, God, to be able to, to submit to you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We, we don't have anybody to throw away. We don't have anybody to lose, God. We ask for your protection in their coming and their going, God. Wake up the parents, God, in the name of Jesus. Bring them out of their slumber in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. We're, we're, we're crying out to you. Hear our humble cry. Oh God, Lord, we, we, we walk by faith and not by sight. We see, we see Sunday school full. We, 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 we see uh, the outreach ministry having enough volunteers. We, we have, we, we, we see people uh, saying, I want to join this ministry and that ministry. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we, 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 we see us in the future and we, we look much better. God, we'll be regular witnesses. God, we'll be regular praisers. God, it'll be coming for the upright God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to walk into our destiny, God. Help us to be the people you're calling for in these last and evil days. Help us to love one another. Help us to love our spouses and our children and our parents, God, and our neighbor as ourselves, God. Let us esteem one another greater than ourselves, God. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, get the glory out of our lives individually. Get the glory out of our lives collectively, God, in the 
the name of Jesus. God, we pray for every sick person. God, we pray for every person that's in the hospital. God, we pray, God, for those that are in their homes and can't leave, God. Oh, God, give them the activity of their limbs. Oh, God, I, I pray for those that are in the prison of their minds, God. Oh, God, penetrate them. Give them freedom. God, you said that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, God. So we declare it now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we love you on tonight. We bless your holy name. We give you glory and praise, God. We're not going to wait till everything happens, but we're going to bless you right now. Hey, man, I wish I had a couple of virtual worshipers, uh, worshipers in the chat right now to say, I'm going to bless them right now. Hallelujah. I'm not waiting for a sign. I'm not waiting for a call. I'm not waiting for a report. Hallelujah. I'm not waiting for things to get better, but I'm going to bless him right now. Hallelujah. Don't wait. Don't wait. Hallelujah. Don't wait. Don't wait till you see it. Hallelujah. Don't wait till you feel it. Hallelujah. Bless him right now. And when you look back over your life, and you begin to think things over, you know you've already seen some things. Hallelujah. Like Chandler Moore said at the concert, hallelujah. If you've seen it, won't you say it? Hallelujah. If you've seen them heal before, won't you say it? If you've seen them deliver before, won't you say it? Hallelujah. If you've seen them saved, somebody you thought would never be saved, won't you say it? Hallelujah. If he's blown your mind, if you've seen him do it, won't you say it? God is good and he is worthy to be praised. God is good, y'all, and we bless his holy name. He's worthy tonight. Do I have a witness? Hallelujah. Do I have a witness tonight? God is good and we celebrate him. Hallelujah. I'm expecting, amen, God to be God. Hallelujah. I'm expecting him to answer however he want to answer. I'm expecting him to be sovereign and not have to answer to me. I just expect God to come into my situation and do what he want to do, how he want to do, when he want to do. And I, all my job is to say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I know you're working all things together for my good. I love you. I'll call according to your purpose. I know you're working all things together. Amen. I know that they that wait on the Lord, I know you're going to renew my strength. Amen. I know I got to walk by faith because to just live by faith, I, I, I know it. So I'm just going to do it. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Just want to encourage you in your faith walk today. Get excited for the Lord. Hallelujah. You may not have everything you want, but as long as you got Jesus, you got everything that you need. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. The Lord is good and he is faithful and he is in control. We love you all on tonight. Can the church say amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like my like elder Wilson said, look, without wrath and without doubt. Amen. We, we not doubting him. Hallelujah. We're not angry at him. We are, are, we are joyful tonight. Amen. We are joyful. We're not clueless. We're not walking in la la land. We just know that God is good. He's better than good. He is great and greatly to be praised. So we bless you on, we bless you on tonight and may he bless you. Amen. May his favor rest upon you. Amen. And you're coming and you're going. God is good, y'all. And I, I just love him tonight. So I pray that the prayers that we've all prayed tonight, amen. Uh, uh, I pray that we, 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 we keep them in our hearts and our minds. Amen. That we, we, we know that God has heard our cry and we trust him with the rest. Praise the Lord. And I also pray tonight that we remember our pastoral teaching and the heart of, of the pastor tonight. Amen. Is to rekindle the fire of your faith. 
Amen. I'm looking for some of y'all to re-engage. Amen. Uh, to get back in your place. Amen. And then I'm looking for some of us to even go to higher heights and deeper depths. Not about us. But Lord, if you can use anybody, you can use me. And so we thank you all on tonight. We're going to let you go. Just going to uh, say a little quick closing prayer uh, before we go. Brothers that have signed up, amen. We'll see you over Brother Tim's house tomorrow. Amen. Looking forward to the fellowship. Amen. And we've got some exciting things you'll start seeing on the calendar and in the announcements for all, all different age groups. Amen. Men, women, youth, huh, you know, all kinds of things. Marriage. And so the outreach. Uh, we've got some fundraisers that are be, that not fundraisers for the church, but things that we're going to be collecting to give out to the community. The Day of Hope is coming up in November. I mean, these next five months, come on, buckle up. We're going to finish this year strong. And I'm going to be talking about this a little bit more on Sunday. I got a message entitled Moving On. Hey, it's some stuff. It's some stuff. We, it's time to move on from it. Hey, Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's let's pack it up. Let's pack it up and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's 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 go get it. Amen. So I'm excited. I pray that you are excited. I, I pray that uh, we have lit a fire under somebody. If it's just one more person that's lit up. Amen. Because, you know, one to chase a thousand. So if we can just get one more person lit up. Amen. We're going to be all right. But just think if we can get 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 more of y'all lit up. Amen. Uh, and if somebody wasn't on tonight, amen, send this send this Facebook thing to them. Amen. Uh, you can send it through a text through on YouTube and send it to them. Amen. Whatever you got to do. You see some people, man, I, I wish they were still active. I wish. Listen, it could be you or it could be somebody that we want to be encouragers. One to another. Amen. So God bless you. That's what we got in store for us this weekend. We thank you all for joining us for First Friday Prayer and Pastoral Teaching. So Lord, we say thank you for this gathering. Uh, we thank you, God, for blessing each and every home from the east to the west to the north and the south, however and wherever we're joining. God, there are going to be people that listen and watch this an hour from now, tomorrow afternoon. We pray that they're blessed as well. And God, that we are all encouraged, God, to be excited about our faith and our service to the Lord. And God, we love you on tonight. We give you praise and glory, and we are excited about this weekend where we can come together and bring all of our individual worship together and bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Listen, I love you all. Have a wonderful night. First Lady loves you guys. And we'll see you all Sunday if the Lord say the same. Be blessed.